Hello, Velvet. Yes? I need your help. Welcome Loyalty Squad, this is the Velvet Locks coming back to you in the kitchen with another video. In this video, I'm going to be doing some meal preps. I'm going to be prepping my meals for the next couple of days just so that I have my food already made and I don't fall into that trap of when you're hungry, you're now left with the last minute trying to figure it out, trying to figure out what are you going to eat. So I decided to bring you guys in and let you know what I'll be prepping for the next couple of days. So, come and join me. So what I'm gonna be working with today is some onions and some freshly washed mushrooms that I'm gonna add in with my chicken cutlets. So I'm just gonna slice the onions long ways. And I did it that way so this way I can make um, little ringlets, okay? Presentation, y'all, presentation. <laughs> and I love me some mushrooms and onions, oh my goodness. Now what I'm going to do is start to season my chicken cutlets real quick. What I'm going to do is add a little bit of my seasoned salt and I'm not going to add too much. Okay. Lightly season it with the seasoned salt. Put a little bit of the pepper, my black pepper in there. I'm also going to add in some onion powder. And some of my garlic powder. And I'm just going to massage that into the chicken. do the same on the other side. I'm starting to preheat my oven for 400 because what I'm going to do is put this in the oven and bake it. Next I'm going to add a little bit of my Worcestershire sauce. Now what I'm going to do is just add in my onions, put that on top. And then I'm just 
just gonna put my mushrooms on top as well. Now, this is optional, some scotch bonnet pepper. You know, I like my food a little spicy. I'm just gonna slice up a couple. Well, slice this up and add that in there as well. And I'm just gonna add in about a cup or so of water. And just a little bit of butter. Just so that it won't stick at the bottom. Now I'm just gonna cover this up, let it marinate for a little bit. And then when the oven is ready, we're gonna pop this in the oven. Now to my saucepan, I'm gonna add in some butter and melt it. Then I'm gonna add in about a teaspoon of my minced garlic and saute it a little bit in the, in the butter. Next, I'm gonna add in my spinach, my baby spinach, and I'm gonna add in enough because when that you know, steams down, it, you hardly get anything. So I'm trying to make enough for a couple of days. So I'm gonna put a nice hefty amount in my saucepan. Now I'm just gonna move that around, saute it up a little bit, get the flavoring, the, the garlic and the butter throughout the baby spinach. And as you can see, it's already sauteing down to almost nothing. You can also add in some black pepper, which is what I'm gonna add in next. And, you know, if you wanted a little hint of, um, you know, seasoned salt or salt, I recommend sea salt, just a hint of it, but not much because the spinach is delicious this way by itself. So I'm just gonna continue sauteing that. See, like I said, there's hardly anything in there. And then I'm gonna put it on the side and continue making the rest of my meal. All right, so I am back and I finished my meal prepping. This is for four days. And I have my chicken, my, my mushrooms, my sweet uh, beans, and my um, spinach, my sauteed spinach. Okay, so that's for four days, and yeah, we'll see how that goes, and then I'll meal prep for the rest of the week. But yeah, this was uh, an interesting, you know, I've never done this before, but this makes it a whole lot easier to be able to just grab, warm up, and eat instead of having to stand over the stove like I'm doing right now and cooking a bunch of different things. <laughs> all right so thank you for joining me on this video don't forget to like comment subscribe down below if you want to see more ideas more meal preps different types of varieties let me know down below and i'll have a video out for you okay so until the next video you guys i will see you then hey family this is the velvet locks coming back to you with another powerful announcement if you haven't heard about it yet and haven't tried it yet well i want to bring to you something that is going to help you on your weight loss journey this is a powerful tonic that's going to help to flatten your stomach it's going to get rid of that excess waste in your colon so this way you can get rid of that excess weight this is something that's going to help to lower your cholesterol levels your blood sugar levels as well as your blood pressure for those of you who haven't been able to get rid of that weight and burn fat 
because of low metabolism. This is something that's going to boost your metabolism, give you that extra energy that you need to burn that weight. This is also going to cleanse your blood because it's a detox. It's going to get rid of those harmful toxins in your body that's keeping you sluggish from getting rid of that weight. So check out the Flat and Firm Belly Detox. This has been flying off the shelf like crazy. This is my popular detox tonic that's been working for so many. So if you're trying to lose weight, get those inches off, as well as lower your blood pressure, lower your cholesterol, lower your blood sugar, and boost your metabolism, give you extra energy, and suppress your appetite, well check out the Firm and Flat Belly Detox. This is powerful, this is organic, and it's also safe for those of you who are on blood pressure medication, as well as being diabetic. So check out the Firm and Flat Belly Detox, you guys. You will not be disappointed, it works. This is going to get rid of those extra inches off your waist, because you're cleansing your colon and getting those wasteful toxins out of your body. So like I said, check down below in the description bar where you will find the links to my eBay store for this powerful firm and flat belly detox. So get your health journey back on track, check out the links down below.